Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be filming a favorite face and body sunscreens video. Even though we're getting into the fall time now, as we all know, sunscreen is super important to be wearing year round. So I know that it can be super hard to find a sunscreen that works well for you. It's hard to find ones that feel comfortable on the skin, that don't break you out that work well under makeup so i hope that this video will be helpful for you and i think that these are all some really great options so let's get started first up we have the color science sun forgettable total protection face shield classic they come in a few different versions they have a flex version which is great if you wanted something that gives more coverage and you can use more of a foundation for your makeup and they also have a matte version but that one has a little bit darker of a tint, which is too dark for me. This one has more of a peachier, lighter tint. So if you have a similar skin tone to mine, if you have fair to light skin, maybe even a medium skin tone, I think that this one will really work well for you. This one contains 12% zinc oxide and it is a broad spectrum SPF 50 with a PA++++ rating. This one I really like because I find that it's super moisturizing. I will say when reapplying this one, it does tend to feel a little bit heavy, a little bit greasy, and I do not find that this works well under makeup. I read in the reviews that a lot of people love this one under makeup, so I guess it just depends on your skin. But for me, this is definitely more for my no makeup kind of days. Um, so yeah, let's see. As you can see, it's kind of like a, a peachier tint and it's more of a runny formula. So I think that that's what helps to make it super moisturizing. It blends into the skin so well. And I think if you have a darker skin tone, this one may not work for you, but you should definitely check out the Flex or the Matte Formulas. This company has a lot of research behind their products. so. I always feel like my skin is super protected whenever I wear this one and I definitely recommend it. Next up we have the Elastin Hydratant Pro Mineral Sunscreen. This one is an SPF 36. It's water resistant for up to 40 minutes and it contains 8.9% titanium dioxide as well as 3.4% zinc oxide. This sunscreen is amazing. The only two things that I would change about it are I wish that it was an SPF 50 and I also wish that it came in more shades. Elastin, please, please, please make this product in more shades. This stuff gives you enough coverage that you can use it absolutely in replacement of your foundation if you're more into light to medium coverage. I love to wear this under makeup. It's great because it gives you that glowy finish, but it's not greasy or sticky and you can apply powders over it, which I don't feel like I can with the Color Science one. So yeah, I think that if you have medium to deeper skin tones, you will absolutely love this stuff. It just feels so creamy and amazing going on. It's super comfortable to wear. As you can see, way too dark for me. I can make it work with makeup if I'm wearing a lot of bronzer, but otherwise, as you can see, not a good match, but it just feels, and this one is definitely a pricier brand, but it just feels so luxurious and creamy going onto your skin. I'm someone who just hates the application of sunscreen. I just... I hate how it feels. I do, I'm gonna be honest. So it's hard for me to find ones that feel nice and this one just feels so nice. So it's also super hydrating. So if you're somebody who has a darker skin tone, 100% check this out, it's amazing. So those were two tinted options. Now we're gonna be moving into some untinted options. And here we have the Biosense Squalene and Zinc Sheer Mineral Sunscreen. This is an SPF 30 with a PA++++, and it contains 14% zinc oxide. This one I find to be um, very moisturizing, but it does leave a slight white cast, and that's even on my skin tone. So if you have medium to dark skin tone, I do not think that this one's gonna be so great. Definitely, you could try it out. I find that it works really well under makeup, I, again, I wish that it was an SPF 50. 
And this one also claims to protect and hydrate even the most sensitive skin, which I do agree with that. It never breaks me out, never causes any irritation or issues. Okay, so being that this one is not tinted, obviously there's going to be a slight white cast, but it's not as much as the next one that I'm going to show you. So yeah, for my skin tone, it works well. It rubs right in and you can't really see it. It kind of applies like a lightweight lotion, which makes it super comfortable and nice feeling on the skin. So I recommend this one. Next up, we have the Pipette or Pipette. I'm not sure how to pronounce that one. Mineral sunscreen. This one is actually marketed towards babies, but obviously anybody can use it. It is fragrance free and it's also considered clean as is the last sunscreen I just showed. It is 20% zinc oxide. And I have to say this one is so similar to the last sunscreen that I showed you. It is super moisturizing. It leaves a bit more of a white cast than the Biosense one, but this one is so much cheaper than that one. Um, so I would definitely recommend this as a more affordable option. I find that it works just as well under makeup. It's not super greasy, a, a little greasy. If you're not into shiny, I don't think that you would enjoy this one or the Biosense one. And Let's see, this one is going to give just a little bit more of a white cast. And that's on, again, that's on my skin tone, so. But if you rub it in, I don't find it to be so bad. So yeah, I really enjoy this one. And I also love that this one is an SPF 50, whereas this one is only 30. Um, but again, if you're looking for something with less of a white cast, this will probably be your best bet. Now we are moving into body sunscreens, and this one is the Bondi Sands Broad Spectrum SPF 50. It's water resistant for up to 80 minutes. This one is a chemical sunscreen, so it's not gonna leave a white cast. It contains 3% avobenzone, 10% homosalate, 5% octisalate, and 8% octocrylene. This claims to have a non-greasy, fast absorbing and invisible finish. And I agree with all three of those claims. This one is super lightweight and moisturizing. As you can tell, I have dry skin. So all of my sunscreens are moisturizing and it just leaves the most beautiful glow once it rubs in. I love this one for everyday wear. It's also great for by the pool or by the beach. I love that it doesn't stain my clothes because I have that problem with quite a few body sunscreens. This brand also has a version of this sunscreen that's marketed for the face and it has basically the same ingredients in it and you could absolutely just use this one on your face. And it's also a little bit cheaper. So yeah, there you go. Now we have the Kula Fragrance Free Mineral Body Sunscreen. This one is an SPF 50. It's all minerals, so it contains 3.5% titanium dioxide as well as 7.25% zinc oxide. It is said to contain a plant protein complex, which is rich in antioxidants. And this one, I have to warn you, you do have to let it dry down all the way because if you don't, it has a tendency to sometimes stain whatever it is that you're wearing, which is annoying. But as long as you give it time to dry down, it should be fine. And as you can see, even on my light skin tone, it does have a very slight white cast, but I think that it's not very noticeable. And it rubs in really well. It's not, you know, too thick or too heavy, which is a problem with a lot of body all mineral sunscreens because who wants to feel greasy and sticky all day? So yeah, I really love this one. It says that it's fragrance free, but I, it definitely smells like Play-Doh to me. So I don't know, I guess that's kind of nostalgic, but if you're not into the smell of Play-Doh, you're, you're not gonna like this one. I hope that you guys enjoyed hearing about these different sunscreen options. When it comes to sunscreen, I think it's really just trial and error. You have to try different ones, you have to experiment and find what really works for you 
What's gonna work for your skin type, your skin tone? Do you prefer a tinted sunscreen? Do you prefer a non-tinted sunscreen? Do you prefer mineral filters or do you prefer chemical filters? I think it really just all comes down to preference. But wearing sunscreen every single day is so important for the health of your skin as well as for anti-aging purposes. So I hope that you all find a sunscreen that you really love and that makes you want to wear it every single day. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!